Welcome to Designer Digital Spy Weekly Tip, February 13, 2015. This week, working with blendable layers in Photoshop and Elements, Part 2. Katie Pertit has an innovative product line called Blendable Layers. These beautiful papers come as a set of PNG images that can be layered to create a paper like the preview, or they can be customized. These are a great buy because you can use each of the layers separately on a different project, or you can mix and match them to create something completely unique. This is the second in a series of videos in which I'll be demonstrating ways to use and customize the blendable layers. Using these basic techniques and adding your own creative twists, you'll create digital photo art you'll be proud of. In the previous tip, I showed you how to load the blendable layers into one document. In this segment, I'll show you five basic skills you'll need to begin customizing the composite to make it your own. These first five skills deal with layer position and visibility. Begin by following the stacking process in the previous tip. Perhaps there's a layer that you decide you don't really need. For example, this green border layer. You can hide the layer by clicking the layer visibility icon, which looks like an eyeball on the left side of the layer. If you decide later that you'd really like to use that layer after all, all you have to do is click the eyeball again to make the layer visible. If you'd like to change the order of a layer, you can click and drag it up or down the layers panel to move it. So if I wanted to move the flower layer up to the top, I could just click and drag it up to the top of the layers panel. To move a layer, get the move tool and untick the box that says Auto Select in the Options bar. This will either be at the top or the bottom of your screen depending on your software. Select the layer in the Layers panel. Then you can click and drag the layer into a new position and you don't have to worry about the transparency making it difficult to move the layer. When you're finished, tick the Auto Select box again to reset it. Pressing Control T or on a Mac system Command T on the keyboard brings up the transform controls, which look like a bounding box around the layer. Click and drag the corner to resize the layer. If your image gets distorted like this with the funhouse effect, just cancel the transformation and then hold the shift key as you click and drag. This maintains the aspect ratio. You can also twist or turn the layer by hovering over an edge. When the cursor changes to this curved arrow, you can click and move to turn or twist the layer. Tick the check mark in the options bar or below the bounding box in elements to confirm the transformation. To change the orientation of a layer, you'll find the flip function in the menu bar. In Photoshop, select the layer that you want to flip and then choose Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal or Flip Vertical. In Elements, choose Image, Rotate, Flip Layer Horizontal or Flip Layer Vertical. These five basic techniques will get you started making the blendable layer your own. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip where we'll explore a few techniques for personalizing the appearance of the layers in the blendable layers.